What is up, everyone? I'm Jay the Mighty Mesbert. Finally recovered from COVID. Finally, I'm finally back to bring you guys another collection video. This is the first uh, collection video. Not only yeah, this is the second PS3 collection video, and not to mention this is also the first um, collection video of 2022. So happy New Year um, to all of you. Now, um, before we start, um, I actually have uh, the last time I did a collection video, I did I had over like around maybe 30 or 40, and ever since then, I got way more. So, I'm actually going to cut the introduction, so I might move it a little bit. Yeah, you have to tell how big, the, you have to tell how big this stack is. So, um, you know, I'm moving the computer, but yeah, I don't give a shit. So, uh, we're, we're going to get through, so we're, we're going to get through this. Um, I, I'm going to cut the introduction, so we're going to get through it, because we got to get through this. So, but I will say, um, don't forget, if you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as we, we are close to 100 subscribers. So if you can hit that subscribe button and hope, I would definitely appreciate it. Again, we are close, so good. Let's 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 do our best to get it to 100 subscribers, and maybe maybe we can get if this video does get attention, we can get to 200. But anyway, that's enough ramble. We gotta get through this. So I have um three stacks, um five stacks actually. Um, three of them are posting the same stack, which is one I'm gonna go quick through because. And then I have two stacks I'm going to talk more about. I mean, some games I might talk a little bit more in there from time to time. But I don't want to make this video, like, two hours just like the Xbox 60 question video was. I mean, I was, if I was so willing, I had to edit it. So, we're going to get to quickly do these. Um, so, and of course, last time I did the, uh, I added sex stack for JRPGs. Well, of course, I really like that. And I'm like, so, how do you like that? So, we're going to do it again. And, we're, but this time, we're going to have another stack. For the uh, rare and expensive games, since ever since uh, ever since that video, I got a lot more uncommon games and more and more expensive. So anyway, we're gonna get and just as the generic stuff is gonna be in alphabetical orders. That's so just wanna put that out of the way. So anyway, first game here is not a good one to start, but I don't give a shit. Angry Birds Star Wars, not a good version of the game. I mean, it, 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 it's definitely better than the Wii U version, but not by much. And I could talk about I could just talk about one game in particular, but we got I got we gotta get quickly through this. All right, and just to save some time, I'm definitely gonna show these in series. If there's a series, I'm gonna show them in sets just to get them out of the way. Um, which I'm probably not I'm probably I'm not into this series. I'm gonna show them like this. We have Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Three, Four, Black Flag, and um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Unfortunately, Black Flag is missing the manual, and I am missing two. I have two on through sixty, but I don't have two on Assassin's Creed Two on through PS Three. But yeah, kind of, and actually, I think, and I, so I was wondering, but I will point out that all, all these games I found, I actually had a thrift store or a flea market. I did not find them at a game store. I found them outside of a game store, actually. So, so that's actually really cool. I mean, that's a good idea I found the flea market, but I did want to press the thrift store, so I can't say anyway. And I think, yeah, because I have it right. All right, next up, we have the Beatles Rock Band. Of course, Beatles one of the best bands ever. This game I haven't played, but I do need the Rock Band or Guitar or Guitar, whatever I need. Next up, we have Borderlands. One of the best uh, um, first-person shooters and uh, slash RPGs ever met. I love, I love Borderlands 2. Haven't played much of the original Borderlands, but still really good. Again, I could talk about, I could talk about Borderlands 2 all day, but again, I don't want to make this collection video long. We gotta get through this. I only have two Call of Duties on the PS3. Okay, so we have Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Of course, Ghost, Ghost being more good to play and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 I haven't played much of. And of course, next up we have Child of Eden. I did hear that um, playing with the control is horrible, but the connect it's with the with the connect it's one of the best games ever. So and I mean, it's made by Q Entertainment, who obviously will become enhanced. Well, of course, many games are Tetris Effect, which I'm still trying to get a hold of, but still, still a great game either way. I did play it. I kind of liked it, even though it's kind of not that good. Next up, we have Dead Island. Um, found this one on a flea market. This is the this is the special edition variant, and I do want to get the original one. So this is, but I still need this game anyway. So I'm saying, fuck it, I'm gonna keep it for the time being until I actually until I actually um, get the record one. It's just like something on since San Jose sixty Fable two. But uh, I played this one on two sixty. Really like this game. Um, so um, I again, wish I can talk about it, but. We have over 100 games, so we got we got to get through this. I, we got to get through these stack, these three stacks quickly. So, um, the first Demon Souls. Um, this typically would be when you're in the JRPG pile, but this actually doesn't work. And I don't know. If this is like a misprint or something. It's like in the back of the disc. Um, I don't want to show you those again. I got 
I know I'm painting myself. This is probably the last time I'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry to get this video out, but you know, it is what it is. All right, next up we have the Disney Disney Infinity games. These are Tours of Web, which I don't care for. So, so I'm not talking about them. Next up we have Dragon Age Origins. Um, not really too much of Dragon Age is, so that's why, not, again, not a RPG, but again, it's going in the generic pile. Because I have not played much of it. That's why it's there. Next, uh, and I do want to play it, just haven't got around that. Kind of, I actually don't want to play it under 60, but you know, this is what it is. We have EA Active too. I have EA, I have EA Active in the big box, um, which was over there, which I don't know if you can see. Actually, you cannot see, but Holly gave me that one. And of course, I, I, did, see, I did find EA Workout, uh, EA Active More Workouts, which is the expansion, which, which is not too expensive. This is the PS3 one, so. Um, um, next up, we have Everybody Dance. Uh, surprisingly, there are three Everybody Dance for the PS3. Um, no, I'm not making a CC Music uh, Factory reference, but I know the third Everybody Dance is super hard to get, extremely hard, expensive if, you, if you're fortunate to come across it. So, if anybody has Everybody Dance 3, and also Part 2, but if anybody has Part 3 in particular, please let me know. We'll have to do a trade to get that one. And because I'm, because you know, I'm going, and that's something you probably may not notice. Um, I am actually going for a complete PlayStation 3 set. So, next up, we have the Eye of Judgment. And, and, and I'm probably never gonna play it. iPad. And next up, next up, we have the FIFA. We have the FIFA. Um, um, FIFA 17 was the well, actually, wasn't the last, but this, um, this one in particular, um, FIFA 17 is, uh, this one in particular, FIFA 17 is pretty uncommon. I don't see this one every day. I actually found it at a drift store actually, and I know FIFA 19 is really hard to get, or maybe it wasn't on PS3. I know FIFA 18 was. Everybody has FIFA 18. Let me know. It's actually that's actually, that's actually, that's pretty uncommon, even though uh, even though it, I mean it's FIFA, but it is pretty uncommon. All right, next up we have um, the fight lights lights out. Not not a good game from what I heard, and I and I, and I actually don't want the PlayStation Move. I did own the PlayStation Move, but then I found on my PS3 it was not the Mondo 2, which that kind of sucks. But you know it is what it is. Next up we have the God of War series. Of course, this is an amazing series right here. It's actually a series I want to get into more. Um, so. Uh, we have God of War 3 and God of War Collection. God of War Collection, I did find that book off. Um, I'm going to do... <coughs> Sorry um, if I have my voice sounds weird. <coughs> oh, God. But anyway, I'm going to cut it anyway. But God of War 3, I had it for a while. But in God of War Collection, I found that book off. Unfortunately, when I play, try to play God of War 3... Uh, God, sorry, not God of War 3. God of War Collection, just, it keeps corrupting. And I, and, I, and I almost lost the end of my PS3. So I'm not going to bother with it anymore. But... You know, it is what it is. Gotta kind of fix this side so it doesn't fall over. I don't want to have to fucking cut this video and restart it. Because I'm doing this one take. I mean, I like the more chill, relaxing, long videos. Kind of like Pete Dark. Next up, we have Gran Turismo 5. I love Forza more than Gran Turismo for some reason. Because I'm not good at this game. Because the drifting is so annoying. So, I don't know about too much more to say about this one. Although, I would love to get a hold of Gran Turismo Sport. I, need, I do need Gran Turismo 6. I also got Turismo 5 Pro. I it does count. But I also been trying to grab Twisted Bones. I heard this amazing review, and I'm joking. Next up, we have uh, Guitar Hero War Tour. Or uh, um, this uh, I'm. Uh, if you can, um, uh, look up uh, a Wii menu, Wii intro compilation, and see if you can find one that has the Wii menu intro for this game. Uh, this is the PS3 version I'm holding. I don't have the Wii one, but if you can find get a hold of the PS3, the Wii version. Um, it does have an awesome, um, it does have an awesome, uh, Wii in menu intro, so, I'm, I'm not gonna play it, obviously, because, again, time constraints, but, if you, if you can try to get a hold of it, um, this game, and, um, try, try, try to work out the Wii menu intro, it, it is, it's actually really badass, and typical Wii menu intros would not be that great, the, the, the one on Focus I wrote was really good, though, because there's, there's not a lot of them, that, that's a really good one, and also, there's also Sonic Colors and Sonic Wish, but I do like Guitar World Tour. More. Anyway, we have Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part Two. Um, but this is a pretty someone. I thought this was actually more uncommon than I thought, but it's actually gone down in price a little bit. So it's kind of like twenty bucks now. So I I don't know where to put it, and I don't have time to check. So um, 
I'm just gonna leave it as this. This um, we can, and of course we got. I'm gonna show these games quick just to get them out of the way because I'm not because I've I've not played these games so much. Heavy Rain, um, which is amazing, which I want to play, but get my PS3 no storage. And um, Hitman Absolution. So pretty cool. This stack phone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, before we before we do continue though, I, there's two things I do like to show you. Probably can see over there, but I do like to show you too because the last time I did a Christmas video, I completely forgot about those two things, which is bullshit for me. So I'm gonna, I, of course, I remember, and I'm gonna have to get the fuck up. But I don't give a shit. I'm gonna work, record anyway. I'm, these are not going to, in the picture on the thumbnail, but again, because I have a lot more PS3 games, but I will show you guys anyway. Just gets just so I don't I don't forget. I do have the. Hyper Dimension Neptunia um, Women Edition, um, um, Special Edition Hyper Dimension Neptunia, um, which I did order the game, but then the guy said, um, who I bought him the game from said he, he found this, so he was willing to sell it to me for twelve fifty five. So, but I think I got the Special Edition, I bought it into PC, and I got this, I believe, for 55 to 60 It was actually a good price, because it typically sells now, it's now sales like around over 100 so, pretty cool, and also, and of course, we do... Have, um, I wish I could say it's all excited about it, but I'm gonna show you quick because it's too, it's too big, and also I need, I need to get the I need to get the generic stuff out of the way. But we do have the Tales of Zillia Collector's Edition, which of course I love this thing. Um, it's factory sealed, um, and it will remain factory sealed. Um, but of course we'll, I'll talk about the game when we get to it. Um, but again, I, I I wish I could talk again. I wish I could talk about the thing in more detail, but we gotta. Get, we have a lot of games, and we we got we gotta get through these generics that quick way, it's just so that we can of course talk about the JRPGs. So I can so I can not talk about my favorite JRPGs of all time, and also the expensive ones. But anyway, now we have the second stat. We have the second. Oh God, I meant just that. Anyway, next up we have now that that's all right. Next up we have the second stack. And this is the generic stack. We have Homefront, one of the most overhyped games ever, and I'm joking, but I have not played this game. I'm kind of thinking about playing it, um, but then I'm not. I did find it at a free market actually, and so, so I need a 260 version, which I did one but didn't get. We have How to Train Your Dragon 2, which is actually one of the games by, given to me by Muhammad, and this game I have not found in the wild again, so I guess it's kind of uncommon, but um, this I'm, I'm putting in generic because I have not played this game. I know it's based on a DreamWorks movie, um, which occurs. Um, Drugs does make amazing CGI animated movies. Of course, they make Shrek, um, uh, uh, Prince of Egypt, which I heard, which I really want to see. And um, there's another one I'm thinking of. Um, um, I um, fuck. Um, damn it, there's another one I'm thinking of. It's not Shark Tale. Um, that's not looking forward to you knowing, even though it has Will Smith. I love Will Smith. Um, I kind of don't know to be honest. Well, do there is a there is a spinoff show um, for this on, on Car that was on Cartoon Network. So if you can. So we really know history of Kishon for it. We really know Junior's history. Next up we have Infamous Two. So you might recognize JD. Where the fuck is Infamous One? Um, I got rid of it. Um, well, it was it was actually player's choice actually, and I'm and I typically wanted to, and you might think oh Uncharted right? Well, I actually found um, a black label Uncharted. So still I still have Uncharted, which I will. Of course, when we have Uncharted, we'll still talk about. But um, this one, um, I, I don't have Infamous One. I'm so I want to get a Black Widow one for that. But this is um, Infamous Two, which is a great game, and this is a Black Widow, so this is staying in the collection. So, um, and we have Just Dance Four. Um, for some reason, there was chocolate on this game, and I know this is a very good game to trade in at Game Stars, But going in the collection, why? Because I need this game. I don't. I, I'm going for a complete set. I need. I need that one. Like, I, switch, I guess I can try to say I have every game ever made, but, um, I don't. Um, and I'll probably never will because I don't have the room. Anyway. Hey, um, next up we have Killzone 3. Yeah. Uh, oh, how about the every game ever made? Um, I have subscribed to a YouTuber called, um, Antonio's Game Collection. And which he did talk about some oddities. Of course, one of them, some of them I never even heard of. I mean, I probably I did heard of before, but now I'm realizing now. But, yeah, um. Anyway, um, so I will say go check out the channel. I should think we're doing a wink. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a wink. I'm, I'm gonna put a wink to his channel. So just so, you know, just so I can say, since I'm kind of mentioning it, dude, I'm gonna mention Ghost Sisters send a wink. So go go check out his channel if you can. Because you're kind of because I'm kind of giving you a shout out and I kind of want to you know. Anyway, anyway, next up we have Kingdom of Our More Reckoning, 
which I when I won, which one of the most underrated games on the PS3. Um, yeah, um, I heard this game didn't do amazing when it first came out, but and then, now we got the real ways and they're adding the DLC, which is the first because they never added movies when the original came out. But yeah, it is an awesome game. I just from my character haven't played it. My one and only Lego game on the PS3. Wah, wah. But thankfully, I do have a complete um, Lego Batman, the video game. Story about this one is I got the, I did, no oh god, I had this game. Um, I did get I did get this game in the wa in the e in the eBay wallet. However, it was in horrible shape, ape, and um, well, it was well, that was in Pick a Video Nine, right? Yeah, Pick a Video Nine. I had this game. It was in horrible shape, and um, there was no manual. This is obviously this is actually in much better shape. This is in much better shape, and it does have the manual, so this is the one I'm going to be keeping, and and, and I'll, yeah, I'll trade, I, tra I sold off the other one, so. Next up, we have the two Little Big Planet games. Um, these are a really fun purpose that I sadly cannot get into, but um, Little Big Planet 1 and 2. And of course, Little Big Planet 1, the story about Little Big Planet just getting these two. Um, this one in particular, I, I did own this one, but I sold it off, on, off, on eBay just to make some money for some reason. And then just so happens, um, I found this game. I actually found this game again um, at, a, at, a, at a Salvation Army before they shut down. Rest in peace, but and, it, and even now, it is actually in much better shape and, and complete, and which is even better than the original one I had. So just, uh, not only that, I was able to get this game back in the collection, but I was able to get a condition upgrade, and I found what we planted too at the same time. So 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 we you're getting two, but so what, so what a good deal I got. Oh, I'm joking. Not trying to be greedy, but. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, here, this is one of those games, this is actually one of those games, oh, I guess I should have mentioned it for one of the games, I was there giving, um, no, oh, actually there were a couple of them, actually, that, okay, so I think this is, oh, yeah, I remember not, there were a couple of games I shelled, I didn't mention that there were, um, there are a couple of games I shelled that are, are gonna be in my next pickup video, um, so I did show some of them, although I didn't mention it, because I gotta get through this, um, it was also the iPad and everybody, everybody dance. I did. I did not have those before, so you will see those games in the pick a video. Um, this is another one that you will see in the pick a video. Um, cause I just got this game recently. Um, My Nation Racers. Um, uh, I do really like kart. I'm just gonna try to see if I can get a little closer. Okay. Um, I do really like kart racers. Um, I heard this is actually really fun because you, you can actually make your own track. I remember seeing gameplay footage of this game. I mean, you can interested, but I have, but I haven't been able to find this game at a reasonable price. Well, now. Now I finally have this game, so finally can check it off the list. I did try to play it, but unfortunately for some for some reason I I don't again don't have memory, and that kind of sucks because I wish I wish it didn't take up so much memory because it's an it's an awesome game for me. I want to play it, but I can't if there's so much memory involved. Anyway, next up we have Remember the Twelve for the show, probably the most common second most common game on the PS3, only behind um, another game, but. I did use the MLB as still 13, but I sold it because it was in really bad. I just realized it was in really bad shape, so I ended up being trade bait, unfortunately. But I did find another good one. Wish I was in much better shape because I was like, what market off the was, but it wasn't. It's unfortunate, but what can you do? Next up, we have Mega Solid 4, The Guns of the Patriots. I actually found this game at a dream free market at a drug store three times. First one, I, first time I found this game, I didn't get it because it was the PAL version. The second time was when I did get the second time I found this game was when I got this game. And when I got this game again, although there was more shape, so I ended up being it ended up being trade bait, but it's a, it's a minty shape, and of course I this I, I got this game alongside a, there were a bunch of PS3 games. Unfortunately I didn't have a lot, so I couldn't buy all of them. But but um there were there were basically um there were three PS games I got from the from the that lot that was donated. Got Dragon Age Origins, Sesame Creed Brotherhood, and this this game Microsoft 4. Next up we have Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is actually one of my one of the original PS3 games I own. In fact, this is the copy I had since ever since I got the PS3. Pretty cool. I do need more Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Does anybody have those have that game run me down? That hurts not when I want to get a hold of. Um uh, Madden 09. Unfortunately, our first Madden game. I know, stupid. Motor Storm. Um not gonna talk um this game sucks and that's all I'm gonna say. NASCAR 14, um, the, unfortunately this is actually, has really bad case damage, um, so I'm gonna need to upgrade that. Alright, next up we have the NBA games, um, I actually have four of them actually, so let's get, I'll get these, to restore these three quickly, um, okay, um, 
I don't have 2K12, and I never used on one on the way. I never, I never found it on just PS3. I don't have it on just Xbox. Uh, this is NBA, this one. Is, now this one is actually really awesome. NBA Jam. This this game this game is basically um, this game is basically um, it's a it's an arcade style or, or retro style basketball game. It's, it's actually a, a, sex, uh, a long way uh, a, success, a sequel to the original game on Sega Genesis. So it's and and, and, and Super Nintendo. And also, it's actually more a sequel to the arcade game. And I, I actually beat this game. This is an awesome freaking game. Really really love this game. Um, and I was wanted to play it, and of course I beat the campaign. It took me forever to beat the campaign, but I did. Of course, there was a special team I got to play this. And then after that, basically the end of the game. There was no more specific ending, but it's still an awesome game. If you... Next up, we have Deeper Speed Carbon. Um, unfortunately, this version doesn't work, but I actually found the Wii version. Um, it had a good will, so I, can, so I, guess, so I have played this game so, uh, before, and I can, so then we can talk about it here. Even though I have, this is not the version I want to play, but... It's not the version, and uh, this version doesn't work. But so talk about it anyway. It's actually it's actually really awesome. It's actually more darker than no new Zero Comfort is more more darker. But this is more more nineteen G. Obviously, it says this was also a launch title for the PS3. Actually, now, now you think about it, I think it was. And of course, we have PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, which is not. Uh, uh, I mean, well, I was about to say it was not a good game. It's okay. Huh, sorry, did you see me? Hey, what's up? Oh, oh. Alright, this is the last of the generic stacks. Back. Um, don't, don't worry, I'll try to make, I'll, I'm trying to make this video under 100 buzzes. Oh my god, it's gonna be hard to push the stop, push stop recording button. I might have edited the video, I'm gonna go to buy it, but you know, it's okay. Anyway, next up we have Portal 2, an amazing game. I love the, I think we're, we're it's an, this is an amazing game. I love this game. One of my, but yeah, and I haven't played the PS3 version, but I played this game on Steam, and I played this game on um, Just 60. I love this game. I could say I own every version, but I think, this, I think there might be like one more version I need. I don't know, but I think I have every version. Either way, one of the best one of the best games ever made. Grados is one of the best villains in any game ever. Well, I love Grados, and I I, I play for what she does and for what she's trying to do. She's just basically a comical wave as a villain, and she it, she does really really well. Love this game, I love Grad Oz. So she, uh, I'm actually gonna put uh, I'm actually gonna put it here. All right, next up we have Provision Soccer, 2010. I did find 2011, but it was the only case only, so I got the case just to put more for the end because that's true. Next up we have Resistance Three. Okay. This is actually going to be. This is actually the last of the BS3 games that don't work. It's going. This is another one I need to replace. I did find it at Book Off. It is a pretty uncommon game, but unfortunately, it's only in generic because it doesn't work. And it's just really scratched out. This is Go Senko Kubasara Samurai Heroes, which I've never seen this game. Uh, let me let me actually move. Um, let me move. Let me move. Let me move the computer a little bit. Let me move the computer. I'm doing a lot of movies. So you guys can still see me. There you go. Alright, um, next up we have the Skylanders games, um, games, um, got, uh, on this Ghost of the Treasures on PS4 I got from Muhammad, which I still have, I don't have my games anymore, but it's just, that's a pretty uncommon game, I got rid of it, stupid, but, so with Skyrim Spider Adventure, um, um, I did see a game of which a long time ago, go, um, I don't care for Torso Watch, to be honest, yes, um, next up we have, unfortunately this is the only Sonic game I own on PS3, I, I wish I had more on the 260, unfortunately I don't. I don't even have this on 360, I need this one on 360. But Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform, what an awesome game this game was. It, this is obviously the first in the Sonic Racing, Sonic Racing games, um, car racing games, which is obviously, um, this game. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform, Team Sonic Racing, even though Team Sonic Racing was the, the other secret characters, don't know why they did that. But yeah, awesome game. Next up we have Sports Champions. Probably the most common PS4 game you can get. We have SSX. I had actually heard a lot of really good things about this game. I'm actually always want to try this game. I have, but I'm not too big in snowboarding, so. And I do an SSX on the PS2, but this is the PS3 one. I need this one on the Sixty, and this time I need to upgrade. But I actually found this at the flea market, so I'm actually really glad. Let's really glad I have it. Next up, we have Tekken Six. Um, this uh, this is not a good. This is not a good game when it comes to its single player campaign. The campaign 
It was really bad. Um, like it's basically like the campaign just has to turn to like, t- t- change the gameplay, hey, well, from, and from a fighting game to a more fighting game style of beat 'em up. And I, I'm just and I, I don't know what what the fuck they were smoking, but this game you gotta tell this game comes out to us in Nathan. This game pretty much killed the franchise, and that and also the franchise needs to go on hiatus until it's taken seven game out. And also we got to see the return of the franchise in a continuation, which I have taken seven Xbox One. Well, no, I don't have more because I. I get actually, um, I'll tell you, but my thing, why that don't happen anymore, you, you will have, you actually will have to wait until I see a video I make, but it won't be for a while. Anyway, next up we have Tiger Woods on um, picture of Toro 9, Tom Clancy's Hawks, Tomb Raider, this is, I heard this is an awesome version of Tomb Raider, but I haven't played much of this game. I do want to go back to it on PS3, but... People say, I mean, I do know people say this is the best two-player game ever made. Also, it is complete. Um, I also did have, just, I have an awesome game also in Sexy, and I actually have a much better copy of Sexy I found on the flea market. So pretty much I was able to go through the one I had, and of course I'll trade in my other one. We have the two Transformers games. These are actually part of the same series. We have War for Cybertron and Falls. Um, War for Cybertron and Falls Cybertron. They have a hard Falls Cybertron that was really good. I, I played War for Cybertron. I cannot get. I'm pretty much the villains, and I cannot get past the part. It's, it's just, I, I just pretty much gave up. So I'm probably not gonna play it again. Uh, Twist the metal. This game sucks. Like, I'm trying to get the controls down, and then there's like so much lag. I don't know what the fuck is going on. By the way, it is not interesting. This game sucks. Never playing this game again. Next up, we have um, UFC. Um, I'm just gonna move right. Excuse me. UFC Undisputed 2010. Um, I'm actually going to show these games last, actually, before we get to the RPG section, so... Might as well just get these ones out of the way, so I'm not good games. Um, we have The Walking Dead Survivor Instinct. Heard it's not like the hardest one of the worst games ever made, but... I never played it, so... Um, wipe, with this game I just beat recently, if you follow me on Twitter, Wipeout 2. This game sucks. This game makes me angry. I mean, it is accurate to the show, and I do love game show games, but this game really makes me angry. So, actually, at the point, there was a story that happened, uh, which I'm not going to explain. But... Which we hate to give me even more, actually. Um, we have Dynasty Warrior. But, well, I'm sorry, no, sorry. Um, one of the bug book of spells. Um, uh, I actually found this game in at a, at a, at a um free, uh, free market. It's uh, sorry, not free market. Goodwill. It's missing. It's missing the bug. There's actually a book that comes with this game that you need. It doesn't come with a max man. It comes with a civic book, and it also comes with a big box and a civic. And it, and it actually comes in a big box and sweep. The sw- the book for this game is hard to get, it, and and not to mention the sweep as well is hard to get, and then the big boss is even more hard to get. So the whole thing complete is super hard to get. So I just have the game. So this is one more uncommon, but it's not expensive. But it's only I do need to point out. Um, you do need the book. It's pretty uncommon. The book is the book is pretty uncommon. You never see you never see that thing. Pretty uncommon. But anyway, and of course Zumba Fitness. And of course, I haven't forgotten about this game. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna. I'm, let me just. I'm sorry if you can't see me. Actually, let me, let me, let me move. Um, let me move. The, let me move most of the game so I can actually show these games. But of course, I saved the the best of generics. So it's probably for last. I mean, I guess they're not very generic, but I don't care because because they're not expensive. But these are amazing games either way. And that's the Uncharted series. One, two, and three. What well, the other three master the Nathan Drake collection, which contains all of them. Um, but this is an amazing, amazing collection, amazing collection of games, amazing series of games. Nathan Drake is one of the, one of the, is one of the best, one of the best characters in any video game ever. Love the characters, love the setting. I, I love it, it's a mixture of, of genres, basically, like, one point it's platformer, one point, then another point it's adventure, then another point it's third person shooter. It's just like a, a variety of genre, and it just does it so, so well. This is obviously... Naughty Dog, the developer, taking a huge turn from making cartoon games to making a series like this. And of course, they made The Last of Us, which I do not have. I actually had the opportunity to get the one that has one that I didn't. Bullshit me, but you know what you do. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna move. Um, actually, I'm thinking about. I think I'm I think I'm gonna I'm act, I think I'm gonna consider. I actually took the photo for the dumbbell race. So I'm actually gonna cut the video so I can actually put these games away. So we'll be right back, and then after that, we will continue. All right, the generic games are gone. They are done. We're finally done with them, and now we can finally move on 
to we can finally move on to the and we can finally move on to the last two stacks, which is which is gonna be um these are this that the first time we're gonna do this pile this section is the anime slash JRPGs and then and then of course we'll do the uh, super the uncommon just rare games um I, I'm not gonna tell prices obviously maybe some of them I know last time I checked but anyway um let's we will start we're actually gonna start I can not think about the first and the last game of the the stack and also last game of the video um you know um I actually uh, actually part of the same series actually kind of selecting we're starting or starting with the cheap and common one. And then running with a very expensive one, so you probably yeah, that'll probably give you a hand of what my rarest PS story game is. But anyway, okay, let's let's start with this stack. We have Vice Brew Continuing Shift. Um I played this game under sixty. Um I'm not good at I wish I was good at Boys Brew, but I'm not. But I wanna I still wanna get every Boys Brew game and on PS three. I have I have all of them under sixty, I just need to get and I, and I do have a couple of them on PS three, so I wanna get all the Boys Brews. There's more in PS Brews on PS3. Well, if you played this game, it's not awesome. Um, um, we have this guy at three. Um, um, well, I have to it's fine because it's stupid stickers to do. Absence of Justice. Um, I actually have not played this game. Um, I heard this actually really. Um, really, I can tell this is a really good game, but I actually have not. I've not played this game. Um, I do want to finish this guy at D2 before I play this game because that's. The one with the original cast of characters from the original Disgaea. So I'll, so I'll play that first and then I'll finish that game first and then I'll, fin I'll play this one. Next up we have, um, this game I'm going to show together, you know, even though it's like the anime JRPGs, but, um, but, but I actually have not, I've not played this game. So one of my, this is one I tried to play. I don't, I, I actually have not, I don't have, I have the one 60, but it doesn't work. But I, I do have these, this, everything works on PS3, but I've not played this game. The Road to Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 and 3. I don't have part 1. I do actually really want to play these games. I heard there's awesome, they're awesome fighting games, but... Yeah. And, and of course, um... Oh, oh my god, I actually kind of realized this is actually a pretty uncommon game, actually. Oops, my bad. So actually, um... I thought I actually had 9. I actually have 10, I actually have 10 uncommon PS3 games, because this one's... Some, the one I, I... There's actually one game I, I, I kind of realized, oh, I should put it in the... And anime, so I kind of realized actually we're uncommon games. So I'm like, okay. wrong pile, but but you know what can you do? I will show it obviously because I don't. But anyway, um, the next one we have very friends or F. Oh god, this game sucks. This game is horrible. Um, I, I do not like this game. One of the probably well, definitely one of the worst games I played this year. Yeah, definitely one of the worst games I played this year. Um. I cannot get far in Civic Area, and the camera is just horrible. Same thing for the next game I have to show. Oh, God, what a disappointment this game was. Hyper Dimension Neptunia Mark II. Um, so I'm not glad you can actually tell this cover art is basically anime girls in freaking armor bikinis. I'm not even joking. You can obviously see. Um, but this game sucks. Uh, I really, really don't like this game. And I mean, this could be like, oh, good starting point in the Neptunia series. No, this game still sucks anyway, and it sucks as well. They have, they have freaking um, Gust, which made the entire series. The one Ichigo, of course, made the Sky. Yeah, and Kamsa, who obviously made, um, who fucking made. Um, well, I don't know what they made, but I know it's the guy. The guy who found it was who was Keiji Nafune, who of course made Mega Man. But so yeah, I remember that it has so many companies, and this game sucks. Hate this game. And. But, um, but we are, and it's actually one game I actually also hate, but we're going to save for the Civil Series on PS3. Anyway, um, next up, we, next up we have, um, Dragon's Dogma and Dark Arisen. Is this not from the manual? Oh, it never comes from the manual. Okay, um, I, I'm actually not good at this game, so I don't have much to say about it, and I wish I played much of it, but it's actually super long. It's like The Legend of Zelda, but it's a PG. Not good at it, so I'm probably, so probably never going to play it, actually. I'm it's it's right, so it should be a game I see my time into, but probably not. Huh? Um, and I also have Valkyria Chronicles, um, the first one. Only reason why it's all high on the stack is mostly because um, I am not good at this game. I wish I was good at this game, but I'm not good at this game. So, yeah. um, but we are getting into the games I have. Not, we're now getting into the games that I play. Well, actually, one of them I never. Actually, not one of them I actually never played. So I'm actually, so actually kind of have a moment to go over. Oh. Actually, I'll show it first, actually. Okay, um, 
Hey, um, South Park Sick of Truth. I have never played... You guys are going to be mad at me when I say this. I, I played the Factory Boat Hall, but I never played this game. And I, and I really want to play this game this bad, because I heard that this is one of the best... Uh, one of the, Not only one of the best licensed games, and the best uh, and not only the best South Park game, but one of, one of the best uh, RPGs ever made. Like... Like yeah, I know, and I, and I know South Park. There, there were a lot of a lot of bad South Park games, and then they made this one. It could have been bad, but it turned out to be. It heard it turned out to be one of the best, one of the best RPGs ever made. Uh, so I, I really want to play this game this bad because I heard I heard this game is so good, and and I've never played it because there's so many RPGs that I haven't got around to finishing. But this game is definitely on my list. Um, I'm, pro I'm probably playing this game like in March or something. I'm not sure when South Park aired. Um. But I mean, it takes place in the winter, but it's a part place in the winter time. But that, this game is definitely on my list. Um, if I can, if I can, if I, hopefully the memory card actually works. And if it, if it don't, I don't have to play it under sixty. But again, it's on my. This game's high up on my list. Yes, I'm definitely wanting to play this game, so I just haven't got around to it. But it's on. It's high up on my list. I thought it's a game. It's on. It's a game that's on my list. The games to play in 2022. So I really want to play that. Yeah. Anyway, next up we have. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and Final the Prologue. Um, unfortunately, I do not have 1.5. I wanted to get 1.5, but I didn't, and I ended the game. And we'll be credit and get not going to be Zen, but I should trade it off and we'll trade it. I still have 2.5. Still on the hunt for 1.5. I know, that's stupid. I, I have one across 1.5, but it's the freaking greatest hits. I'm looking for the Black Label. I know, stupid. Um, yeah, um, next up we have Natural Doctrine. Um, I heard this game is hard as, hard as fucking shit. So, this is a Prepare to Die game. Even though it's like a tactical game. I, didn't, I won't play it for what if, like, I played this game once in 2020. I've never played this game in a year. So, I'm hoping this game, hoping we start this game, probably, probably start it over. Next up, we have, um, Dragon's Crown. Um, um, we have Dragon's Crown, which is one of the best JRPGs. One of the best, one of the best RPG JRPGs on the PS3. And this is obviously made by Finoware, and this is hands down my favorite game I played from them. I, I played Odin Spear, um, and I also have another. I did show in the picture videos. I, I have those two Sentinels, which I'm not which because I'm, I'm making this video. I'm actually currently playing this game. I just finished another PS4 game. You'll you, you'll, 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 you'll see you, that I'll talk about. But I, I'm still playing Dirty Sentinels because I'm a big Finoware fan, and this is. And what we what we can't talk about Dirty Sentinels today, um, which I would love to. But I'm going to remember that game. This one in particular was amazing. Um, until, um, still amazing either way, but it's, just, but it's more good until the last part. Basically, there's a part in the game where you have to get nine talismans. I got one. You have to get two and you have eight more. You need those talismans to defeat the dragon. They, look, they increased the difficulty spike so huge. I'm not even joking. And, and unfortunately, this would also be the last Finoware game before again Dirty Sentinels come out, and this will the last this will also be the last RPG by Finoware before again Dirty Sentinels. So this will actually be the last. This will be a last for a couple things by Finoware. Um, the last game before uh, Finoware had a hiatus, and the last RPG by Finoware. So and but I think this is a great one to end off on. And again, they don't the two signals, but again, um, Vanillaware, they, they always game on a timely manner, because they, they like to take their time, because also they, they do have the signature um, art style, which is amazing. So, um, I would have, and that, um, I would have loved to, um, there's actually two more Vanillaware games I still need. I need Groom of War on PS2, and I need Muramasa, which I should have been looking for that game for a while. Even though, even though I'm, I kind of have all the Atlas Vanillaware games, but I don't have the two that are the Vanillaware games, because even though they're not made by Atlas, well, I know that, um, I know that, um, Gumukabara was NAS, and uh, Miramasa was Ignition Entertainment, so I hope I'll get those ones soon. Next up, we have, uh, actually, I'm gonna show this, actually, I'm gonna show this game first, actually, because I'm, um, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace is, um, this is, this is a really fun Monster Hunter Clown. Got suck us to a part, but it, it is a one game, but it's also a Monster Hunter Clown. Not much I can say, just, just, but it, not much else I can say, but it is fun at the same time. It's so mostly because we did not get a Monster Hunter game in Japan. Well, we got a couple of them in Japan, but we did not get a Monster Hunter game in North America. Because the they didn't import Monster Hunter 3 to the, to the um, PS3. But, it, but of course, 
we did, if you guys want to to try, or do you want to try, do come to the way, so, before I make it way to, and of course, with the original title being restored. And next up, we have, um, Final Fantasy X-2. Ooh, uh, I love Final Fantasy, um, one of my favorite franchises of all time. This, um, and Final Fantasy, and this actually comes with a combination of Final Fantasy X, manual, this does. This one, um, comes with, with a combination of Final Fantasy X, Ten Two, and also the PS2 Japanese versions that we never got. Now, um, I played Final Fantasy X, I love Final Fantasy X, my, se my second favorite Final Fantasy. Uh, X-2 is unfortunately a disappointment, but um, I actually got rid of Final Fantasy X on PS2, because actually it was in really bad shape. Uh, I wasn't considering getting rid of it, but now that I have this, um, I think it was more reason to get rid of it, the condition with the one I had, because A, it was in bad shape, 2, I have a better way to play it, so it's a much better way to play this game, because... And I know we have Bill White to again, Bill White's going to be about 10 to 2. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, next, of course, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, uh, 6 more RPGs left. Um, so, we're getting down to a stretch. Um, this is like 40 minutes, over 40 minutes. Let's get this let's get, let's get this done. Um, we've got a few games left. Um, we have Persona 5. If, um, this. Okay, so the thing about this game is... I really, really want to love this game as every, everybody, as everybody, as some other, by possibly random people do, or me, I don't know, but either way, I want to love this game as, that much. The problem with this game, the problem with this game, well, the original version to begin with, um, is that, is the, is the story, um, and, is that, well, besides the story, because everybody complained about the story in the original game, but, Again, the problem with this game for me personally is the fact that you cannot restore your SP, and again, that's a huge, I, that's a huge missed opportunity. I, I do think they could have, they definitely could have. They, if, they, if, if this game allowed you to restore your SP, um, that would have been amazing compared to other games. I know in Mega Man you can't really restore your SP, but the problem is that you you do need SP to defeat the bosses, and also it makes like a fire its like, um. Kamashita, of course, by a really good actor, actually. Not me joking. Kamashita was actually supposed to be a, real, a movie actor, actually. And he actually does a really good job with the performance, but... Um, and also... And of course, but it, the point I'm trying to make is that it does make fights like... Um, Kamashita and Amano Army much harder, because you need you need the personas to... Uh, to, the, um, to defeat them, because it makes it a lot easier. Um, that's the point of Shin Megami, that you want the demons and... And, and, and your... Or personas with the Widow series of this, too. Make you stronger, and uh, and this one obviously again it's a persona series. It obviously, way way more in persona and so, But anyway, again, I really want to love this game, but I can't. I I cannot. I I I do want to play the Royal Edition, um, which I do have. But yeah, again, I I I, I am aware people do love this game, and the people the the the, the things about this game about the are really really good. But the, the the bad things about this game are really really bad. Um, that's the thing about this game, and that's kind of keeping me away from, like, giving this game, like, a 9 or a 10 out of 10. It's, it's, and I'm not saying it's, like, the small, small things, but it's mostly the fact that, um, that, um, like, I did, I did get to the second, I got to the second button, and I was thinking about, I think, I beat Monorame, um, I do want, I was thinking about getting to the scene where he confesses, but I, I said it, I end up not getting to it, and unfortunately not in time, because there's always, it was always during time when, again, I was going to have to, I had to prepare for transitions. I did not, I did not get around to playing Persona 5 Strikers again, but it's Persona 5 Strikers sucks, so who cares, but, um, this one, um, I've not got around to playing, um, I will, I, I, and again, I do want to love this game, and because it, it has on, like, actually, let me get a closer view. It has this girl, the girl here, on, how could you not love her? But again, um, and it's game. I don't think I can love this game as much as much as I really want to love this game as much. I don't think I can right now because I have not played Royal, but I do. Again, I do want to play Royal. Um, so just just a heads up. Um, that so that actually everybody has personal by Royal was on again. It's on my list. That's another just as South Plus Drew. That's another game that's actually on my list of games to play this year. So I'll do it on the news. You actually wishing though, but it is on my list. Yes. Anyway, um, next up we have, uh, Nino Kuni, um, Wrath of the Right Witch, um, which, uh, it's an amazing game, uh, one of my top five favorite games I played this year, 
it was uh, it was my favorite game uh, back in April when I got this game on the lot. Um, it was my favorite game I played this year until um, another game I played um, topped it. It um, and, and so another game after that, but uh, and then I had a couple more filled spots, kind of filled some holes and kind of made it not memorable. But I'm it's still an amazing one of the best stories. The, the story is super emotional. Like I I I kind I was about to cry. I I tried not to cry when. You know, I don't want to spoil it. I don't. We really don't want to spoil it for those who haven't played this game. Just play this game. This game is amazing. If, if, if you can't, besides, if you want, if you get, besides getting past the AI, which of course the AI sucks, but if you can get past the AI, then the game's up a masterpiece. But other than that, um, to be aware of it with the AI. But I, I just don't want to spoil it. So we're gonna we're, we'll not talk about it now because I just don't want to spoil it. It's just so good. But of course, speaking of games, I don't want to spoil it of um because it's just a masterpiece of a game. Near. I, this is, this is actually the game that obviously replaced Nino Kuni for being my favorite game I played this year. Uh, love this game. Um, I, I, well, I actually just love everything about it. it, it and, like, and I know this game does have yelling, but I, and, and I guess technically Persona 5 is yelling, but um, for, some reason I'm, for some reason I don't know why um, I was able to get past the yelling in this game. I know Dragon Ball 2 does a lot of yelling, but I was able to get past it in this game, but... Besides that, this is this is this is an this is an amazing game. Like right, this is definitely one of my favorite PS4 games. Um, I I do want to go back and finish this game. Um, it's kind of my backlog now, and I know Grania is because again, because I, I kind of have to review it, but I'm not gonna review it now. But um, I'm, I I don't want to spoil with this game. Just play this game. It's amazing. If you can't find a copy, PS3 version is starting to go down in price actually. But if you can get a hold of this game, um, try to get a hold of it now. It is backwards compatible. Um. On Xbox Series X now, so that also gives you more reason to play this game. So good, we'll love this game. We're now getting down to the last uh, j series of JRPGs. I'm actually gonna show them one at a time, actually, because I love this series. Is oh, let's go ahead. Um, we have I got Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. This game I actually I actually found this game at a at a, at a drift store for two dollars actually. And um, I actually, um, I, I, this stack I actually have three Tales game. I actually have a fourth Tales game, but it's actually pretty uncommon. So I, so you probably know which one it is, but is, um, but this one is really, really good, really great game. Yeah, um, really good combination of Tales and Funny. And I, uh, no, this is more done. It was kind of disappointing. Oh my God. Um, you, you, you want to talk about Marta? Um, uh, uh well, I guess I'm gonna show you. Um. Uh, if I can show, uh, this, I guess this will be a better show. Um, this girl, god damn, she's annoying. I thought she'd be like really this cutesy, uh, Tails get, get care of. That's super cute, and then she ended up being really annoying. She ended up being annoying real quick. I don't know if she was very War Bailey, which is very good actor. Of course, she voiced Rise Kuchikawa, in case you're not aware, but, and of course, she's in The Last of Us, but. Yeah, and it kind of sucks. And I know, I know Emil's forced by, well, what they call, uh, the Ride of Talks mode of Emil, he's forced by Johnny on Boss. I'm not sure about the Red World one, um, but I know that the Ride of Talks mode, um, he's forced by Johnny on Boss. I could, I mean, you could obviously tell, because he forced you and Norman Kirby. Um, and next up we have Tales of Hysteria. What a huge disappointment this game was. But, you know, I'm not going to talk about it, because we have this game to talk about. Uh, um, finally got, finally got up to it, and after almost 50 minutes, I'm not even joking. But thankfully, this won't be an hour long, so I'll try to not make an hour long, but Tales of Exilia, uh, this game is, um, oh, this game, um, to me, is hands down the best JRPG ever made. And, and typically, I love JRPGs, and, 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 and they're my favorite genre, and I beat this game, there's the internal Sonata, and because of the fact that this is the way it's going to be the best JRPG ever made, you can obviously tell this is my favorite game of all time. And, um, and because I, I'm a huge JRPG fan, and the, I'm not, I, I don't have internal Sonata on PS3, but this game, like, Eternal Sonata is, is one, it's my, it's my second pick for my favorite, for the second my favorite JRPG, and my favorite game of all time, not to mention the, sec, the second best JRPG ever made. This, mainly because it just, there's just so much things that are, there's so much thing about that game that I was so good. In fact, that's the game that inspired me to 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 if I ever were to like uh, make a uh, a game or a movie or or even if it, if it's like a movie uh, for for a university or family movie for uh, for a university, 
the I would obviously make it fantasy and the first the inspiration of me would be Torsten. I cannot rip it off though, but I would definitely take huge inspiration from that game because that's because that is so freaking good. And this but this game is even better because it takes what it Eternal Sonata did and and it just expands about it. You know how Persona Four, um that game was amazing and then in Persona Four Golden they expanded upon it and made it even better. This is just like that, except this is not part of the same series because Eternal Sonata never got a sequel. Unfortunately, which please been a non call, please make a sequel. I will pay I will pay retail just to play just to play that game. And but this is this is one of this is one of the best JRPGs ever made, eh, to me. And considering the fact that Tales of Arise did amazingly well in sales and of course being the best RPG at the Game Awards twenty twenty one, I have a feeling that this is gonna be next on the remaster list. And I will definitely buy this on PS4 if it ever if it does get remastered, because it is an um, Amazing game. Oh shit, I kind of gave it away, but you know what? I don't care. Because we're talking, I'll make an exception to him. not discussing it. Because um, I this is an amazing game. But of course, that is all the JRPGs. But, and we are 50 minutes, but don't go away, people. But don't, I'm sorry, but don't you dare go away, everyone. Because we still have the uncommon um, PS Story games to get to. So, who, uh, so. Yeah, and with, so this is the last stack, so let's get this. I'm sorry, this is taking me like an hour, almost an hour, but I do want to try to go under an hour. At least on the plus side, this is not going to be like two hours. I'm not even joking, but let's get this. We're almost done. Let's get this done quick, and then we can finally call it a day, and I can get back to playing my game. And this guy at D2, um, who, um, um, uh, this is actually a really um, awesome. Um, this is a really awesome, um, this is, I, I showed this guy at 3, which I haven't played, but this game I have played. One of my favorite games I played this year. Unfortunately, this game is super uncommon. You don't see this game very often. It's actually the more uncommon of this guy has on PS3. Um, but it makes it really because this game has the original cast, and it's, it's a fun, it's a super fun game. And super fun at the, at the same time. Of course, where Dara is one of the baddest motherfuckers you could think of. Of uh, you know, of course, being an anti-hero, who doesn't even wear a shirt. I'm not even joking. Well, he wears a scarf, but that's it. Um, was and of course you have Vaughn, who and of course you have Edna. Amazing game. Unfortunately, it is uncom. It's getting, it's getting much more harder to find. So if you can try to get this game now, get it. Um, I actually got this game. Uh, I actually got this game from my dad. Got this game from me, Veronica. I was kind of thinking about Vaughn a lot, but he got me a bunch of fillers actually to fill the holes. I think it was really awesome of him. So thank you so much, Dad, for getting me. Thank you so much, Dad, for getting me this game. I know you're probably. I know you're probably. I know you're publishing on Monday. I'm not even joking, but I still got to get mentioned. Okay, which maybe not me. Awesome recording is on a Monday. Not joking. Anyway, next up we have Boyd Soul Resurrection. Um, yes, this was. Yeah, this was the game that um I had in this this stack, but I kind of just remember what before I was about to the show. This is actually a very uncommon game, so I had to move it. But here it is. Um, this is um, a lot of people hate this game. I actually like it. It's a really fun game. I got stuck at like stage nine and then never went back to this game. But because this is a really awesome game, unfortunately it is uncommon. And this game I want you about. And I was actually going up in price actually because um, that's where a lot of Bleach games are. Because you know this one not made by Sega. It's actually made by Sony, Japan Studio, mind you. Although it's, it was mostly by NES America. NES America did a little position, even though. Wasn't made by them, but yeah, um, but yeah, there's no way you can see their logo in, 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 in when you start the game. I'm joking, but pretty uncommon game, I'm very hot to have it. Next up, we have um, the first and an amazing um, story arc of our, our JRPGs, Trolls of Cold Steel. Um, this one, I, I will Trolls of Cold Steel 3. A, this one uh, is really, really good, except, except for one thing, and it is major. Uh, um, this, this bitch, um, this fucking bitch right here, Eliza Renford, I really want to, I really want to like her, um, so she can be like, oh, this next, she can be the best freaking, the most cheerful, most happiest character in, uh, in the game, like, and then she's super adorable, and then when, she's super, kind of supposed to be the sexy character, and then you play this game, and then, and she's a complete fucking jerk, I'm not even joking, like, she holds a freaking, I guess that's kind of spoiler words, but I gotta spoil it anyway. She holds a grudge against you because you freaking wear on her. And as a result, that's actually the, I'm pretty sure it's the entirety of the game. 
And she does not even apologize for it until, like, what, the very end? But, um, but... Oh, uh, yeah, I hate that bitch. But, I don't hate this game. But it is it is a pretty uncommon game. And completing box this game will run you about on 60 bucks. This actually has the manual, actually, which is a little more harder to find. Um, if anybody has Charles and Coltio 2, I actually need Charles and Coltio 2. So, if anybody has that game, please let me know. Uh, Time Crisis Racing Storm. I actually scored this game in a freaking lot of eBay. Unfortunately, this is actually, this is actually the only you know, rare game exclusive game I own that does not have the manual. I know, stupid. But I actually came across this game um, at um, Book Off. So, of course, this game comes with three arcade games. Time Crisis Racing Storm, or it's Richard called Racing Storm, because that's Time Crisis name. And of course, it comes the arcade version of Time Crisis 4, which I still need the PS3 version of Time Crisis 4. And it comes with another game that's from Pirates, which I haven't been able to play that one because I ran out of memory. But thankfully, I was able to play that Time Crisis Racing Storm. It's such a really awesome game. Um, and of course, we have another RPG. Um, so I showed the Tale series. Um, I also like Xilia. Yeah, it's a Styria, Sylvania Chronicles, but not this game. Tales of Xilia 2. Uh, um, this um, and of course this is a this was a huge disappointment. Um, uh, Major Cut. Um, you guys, you know, I love Tales of Xilia One. I love this game so much. Um, this game, it wasn't the fact that they weren't trying. Um, but the problem the problem with this, I mean, they did add some improve some things. And I'm they add some things, but the problem with this game is 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 the fact that you have to pay debt to progress through the story, which actually means that you have to like be these um, giant monsters just to earn like money and you cannot use that money to freaking um, you cannot use that money to freaking go buy items and new weapons you have to use that money to um, pay that you, like, you have no choice you want to focus but if you don't you're gonna waste a huge amount of play time that, and you'll have I mean it's good to, to grind but you'll be having to do a lot of shit just to freaking progress it's really annoying I, I don't understand why so if you wanna if you wanna progress through this game you have to beat the monsters um, and you also and you also have to um, to, um, use that money that you get from the monsters to pay, to pay the debt. And the monsters are really tough as well. Um, so uh, the monsters are really tough as well. I'm not even joking. Um, and unfortunately, um, uh, what also sucks about this game is that you cannot um, you cannot um, you cannot basically um, have because you'll have all search between all party. Once you go into a field, you can only have up to. You got the four minutes you have your party are walked. I, I don't understand why they decided to do this. Um, but this was definitely a disappointing follow up to one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. And as a result, this game is unfortunately very uncommon. I found this game a book off for 33 bucks. It's a lot of money for a PS3 game, but it's actually very, again, it's a super uncommon game. And because I wanted to play this one, and I, because I, just, I got this game just in time before I finished it in one. But yeah, um, so it was amazing. This one's not, and Kawiti Mox is who. One about fifty bucks. Um, but they also had Grace to sell. I got this game. I got this game for two reasons. One, this was the hardest Tales game to get. Um, uh, before Grace is everyone shot sh up in price. Two, um, I love Exilia, as I have, and this is also the sequel. So, yeah, but it is not a great game. So it's it's not a avoid this game. It's it's not a avoid this game game. I that should use that phrase, but it's more accurate. A you're much better off in other games. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, um, the, so the, this game I just got, which is also the last of the PS3s, I did, and you'll see you in a Manix Pika video. So, so it was actually a rare one, but I guess I'm showing you now because we are doing a PS3 question video. We have Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. Um, I've always wanted to play this game, and like, this is the pre court This is obviously the first, um, there is a um, crossover um, Warriors game. Of course, it would be, um, because, because this game would also be the first to assault the farmer, because of course, then we would get, um, Hyrule Warriors, um, Dragon's Heroes, um, Fire Emblem Warriors, and Persona 5 Strikers, which, like I said, the game sucks, but... And unfortunately, um, just like Persona 5 Strikers, this game also sucks. Well, I played the first mission, and yeah, you can also tell this game is not good. And it sucks as well, because, um, this, um, this game does fall, I can definitely tell right now, this game follows the characters of the anime. It, so, it, so, and unfortunately, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't make this, the game as good as it was. And what yeah, and I was all the franchise pretty much became um cutesy anime girls. Or else cute fight and giant mecha. Um it's sad but it, you know what it, it, that's that's how if that's how um the I don't know who owns the rights of Gundam, but that's how um 
if that's how the studio who owns the rights wants to treat it, that's how they're gonna. That's how. That's what we're gonna get, and pretty much. Um, and and eventually we're not gonna be happy. But you know what can you do? Anyway, next up we have uh, Wi Fi Chainsaw. This is this, I got this game from Muhammad. Or this uh, this is like um, this is going in a comic book man. But this is the game really really shot up in price. Uh, thankfully, I was able to get this game. I got this game from Muhammad. So Muhammad, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. But um, this is an awesome game. The, of course, directed by James Gunn. Well, more I could wait directed by James Gunn in terms of the story. Um, he um. He, but um, of course James Gunn, of course the Fifty One directed the gameplay. Uh, James Gunn directed the story and writing, which I think it's well in terms of the English localization. And, but it is still an awesome game. Um, of course Warner Bros. did localization, but it's awesome game. Um, for G8, this game is really good. Shot up in price. Um, it, and and, and why not it's going around around seventy bucks? But it is an awesome game. So you, so if you're a fan, if you're a fan of James Gunn, uh, and um. And and you as fifty one gives you you will like it. Um, there's, it's all, it also came under sixty. Uh, the sixty version is a little bit more. Um, it's getting pretty. Un it's getting more pricey, but it's not crazy. Expensive. You get the sixty one for like around thirty bucks. If so, you if you need the game really bad. Um, try to get a hold of it on three sixty. It is. Um, not to say it's better, but um, but it's definitely um, it's definitely a lot more cheaper. Uh, if you do if you really want to play it. Otherwise, um, as um, you're not missing much. I guess you're kind of missing much, but you're not really, really missing much. Next up, we have Atelier Shaoi. Uh, this is one of the games I got before I started cutting for PS3. And I did not this game, expect this game to really, really shoot up in price. I don't have the R on Atelier Twitch, which game is really, that game is really hard to find. But um, this game, I did not expect to really shoot up in price. I checked eBay before, way before. Alright, and this is the only Atelier game I have. This series, I'm actually starting to really get into it, actually. I actually play more of a Rise of 2, and they end up loving it. I, I got used to the battle system, um, and as a result, I started loving that game. This one, um, this one is actually the last game with the infer infamous time limit uh, uh, that the series is notorious for. But, I mean, it, gets, it does have QT anime girls, but... Uh, and it's also the second game in the entire series to have, where you can play as two protagonists. In this one in particular, you had you go with Shao Wed or Shao as Don. Um, of course, I played as the upbeat one because he's more cheer. But um, it's not because not really like cheer. But whatever. Anyway, this game is pretty uncommon. This game, one you're about um, 70, around 70, 75, around seventy five bucks. And two more games here. We, I can't believe we are almost an hour. But then we have. I think we have enough games. Um. No, and of course, going forward, I'm having to get big questions. I have to make the 60, I have to make parts, but. Uh, two more games here. This is uh, this game I showed last time, so. So, you again, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Um, really awesome. This is really awesome. So, showcase Persona 5, which is super kind of uncommon, but it could be found. Um, this game. Uh, this game is really cool because you can play as. You can, you can play as um, the Persona 3 and 4 characters. It's, it's basically like a follow-up. Well, Persona 4 Arena is a follow-up um, to a sequel, a spin-off sequel to Persona 4 RR. Um, really awesome game, but this game is even better. Unfortunately, it's super uncommon, and also... Oh, God. You're searching. This, the PS3, this game, which Arena is getting uncommon because um, people can't afford this one. I actually found this game at freaking GameStop. Got them swipping. Got this for 20 bucks. Actually, I got this for. I actually got this game for nothing. Well, I I actually traded in a couple of games game straight down at GameStop. I traded in uh, Mario Party 8, Boost, and I traded. I also traded um, Just Dance 4, and I and I, and I, and, I, and I was actually that was actually the second time I found Mario Party 8. Although this one was more, um, it was more like a dress store. Well, that was the second time I found Mario Party 8. I know. First time I found Mario Party 8, there was almost like a salvation zone, and because it happened, but guess what? It happens again. All I already had the right name was blue, so pretty much I used that trade bait. It's a good. So I used that trade bait to get this game. So it's really cool. I got them shipping. Um, as it is a pretty uncommon game, and this game will run you about eighty to hundred bucks. Uh, but I do, and I know, and but I'll do it. Is going to under, going down the price. They just actually just announced a remaster for this game. Which is actually, going probably going to drop the price down a little bit. But um, but if you but if you can try to get this game. So I recommend trying to get this game now. This game is getting way more difficult to track down. 
Uh, definitely happy for the PS3. And of course, I guess so. Of course, we st the last two, the last game before was a fighting game, but of course, the last game, and my rarest, finally my rarest, and most expensive PS3 game, game is Boys Blue Central Fiction. Again, I'm not good at Boys Blue, um, yeah, but I got this game because um, I I had some birthday money and I also wanted to get this game because I want just want to get it out of the way. And I did not dislike this game to really, not only get super hard to find, but get really expensive at the same time. I remember it was going about 200 bucks and what just dropped down, but this is, it. this is obviously the last place blue on the PS3 and it's a super hard one to get. I, I'm just so happy I have this game because, um, even though I did have to pay up for it, but it's a good thing I paid up for it now before it would be way impossible to get. Because it, it is an awesome game. And not to mention, uh, I know Cooper, I know Sick Cooper, well, which are, if you're watching this, Sid Cooper, I know, um, I know you were basically, um, the, um, you were collecting PS3 before you decided to sell it to your store, and guess what? I actually had this game, you don't, you didn't. Yes, sir, you're an awesome freaking, I mean, Cooper's an awesome freaking, Cooper's an awesome freaking dude, but, this is what the stuff is good, but I had the, just wanted to tell that in Game Chasers fashion, I had this game, he didn't, well, actually, kind of surprising, because he had Spider House and I didn't, but you know, it's whatever, um, yeah, awesome game. Um, super hard to find. I'm not sure what the prices of this game is, but we're, it's, it's actually really awesome. I might get this game now before this game gets to show up in price. I know, and I do know there's a couple. Like, this is like one of the top five rarest PS3 games alongside, like probably number five alongside Africa, uh, Siberia Collection, um, Georgia Bizarre Adventure, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Pain Killer. Like that, those are what. Like this, 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 and the four games I mentioned, which I still need, are like the top five rarest um, and most expensive PS3 games. So we're we're also gonna have this game um, and finally have and, and finally have one of the top five rarest PS3 games. Games and I do have was and that being said, um, that's and I, and I also have NCAA Football 14 on 360. Oh wait, did I miss NCAA Football 14? That's yeah, actually pretty rare, but um, this one's a little more expensive. That's why I'm putting it that way on the list. But anyway, that being said, um, th th this video was was an hour long, but I do appreciate you guys. Um, of course, we're gonna be we will, we will be back on schedule. Um, uh, of course, I'm gonna get the PS3, the PS1 collection reveal. I'm gonna get the PS1 collection recorded, and of course, um, I'm gonna record the collection versus them I just got. Um, because I'm kind of reviewing, kind of gave you a little hint from there. But um, record. I'm record, those questions will get recorded, and then after that, I pretty much will have every PlayStation home console that I have um, record have a collection video. So, and like I said, I definitely had PlayStation three before, but this is the ultimate one. So this is update number two. But yeah, we, um, I, I'm first really glad to be back. Um, and yes, I, I'm I'm still feeling a little bit nauseous from turning time, time, but. Of course, and yes, yes, I did catch COVID, but I, it was a speedy recovery. Um, and of course, we, of course, I'm finally glad to get around to recording it. We, and of course, JD My Mesprit will be back. Um, uh, as we will have um the collection video, the two collection videos as I said before, and of course, when I do get enough stuff, um, pick a video eleven will be will be will be recorded. I can't say when that's gonna be, we ready, but but. We, that is that that will that that is in the planning of works. So look forward to that. Uh, that being said, I'm JD the Mighty Mesprit. Um, the the guy that loves video games but hate but hates IGN. Thank you guys for watching and you take care.